My name is Dave and welcome to Ford's Ford Golf. I've been away for a little while, but I am now at the glorious Western Australian Golf Club, one of the most prestigious clubs in Perth. I actually got on here with my good friend, Joel, who's normally on the other side of the camera. Today, we're gonna to let him out. In fact, he is on the other side of the camera right now. But we're gonna play a match play. We've already played the first hole. I'm gonna show you what that looked like now. Pick it up, mate. Today is a special video because we've also got a prize. Buckle and Band have given us a prize. In fact, I've got already wearing one on my wrist here. I'm wearing Buckle and Band. Uh, I've got the hybrid strap here. They've given us the Mila, which is this soft suede band. Look at that. It is spectacular. So the winner of today's match play is going to take that home. Will it be me? Will it be Joel? Stay tuned to find out. Second hole coming up. Bunker left, 250. Probably won't make it because I'm swinging. Horribly. Uh, bunker right, 210 to the front. That one is in trouble. Um, I just want to get it left and central. Catherine, you know, best. Oh, wow. Wow, that is. In case Shot Tracer didn't pick that up, that literally cut the grass on the top of that mound. Oh, that is gorgeous. What a lovely shot. 230, I couldn't have made this hole any longer. So now I've got to go three wood, which I probably should have done in the first place. So as you may have picked up already, I had some issues with audio throughout today. So Joel had an issue with his shot there, but he hits this one a little bit better. So yeah, unfortunately, you're going to get a bit of voiceover today because the wind noise was just horrific and it isn't all entirely my fault. My second shot here, I think thinned it, it's, gone, it's just caught the back edge but then gone over the back. Fortunately for me, Joel's still now playing his fourth shot. He almost dunks that actually, that almost goes in but it runs off the other side of the green. Me chipping on for three, thought this was going to roll out a little bit more than it did but you can see where that hump is there, I'm just on the wrong side of the slope. Joel taking his fifth shot on this par four and uh, just rolling that up. I was about to give it to him, but he was uh, insistent on putting it out. And, uh, well, quite frankly, he missed, meaning that I had two putts to, to win the hole. In fact, I might have had three putts to win the hole. Either way, I cozied it on up because I really fancied trying to make par on this very difficult stroke in next one. Yeah. But that's me one up nice. and we're on to the next hole, another par four. So this one is a par four. Thank you so much to Joel for the, the drone footage with this. Uh, par four, 340 meters. There's dog leg left there. There's actually a primary school just at the end there. So you definitely don't want to over hit it. You can also easily get blocked out of those trees on the left and loads of bunkers in and around the green as well. So difficult hole, not an easy one at all. So I decided I was going to hit the chicken stick. Hit a nice one, uh, lovely draw. Uh, it, was, it was the shape of the day, sometimes a hook, as you'll see coming up, and it just goes far enough to get up on the corner. Joel hitting, again, less than driver, some kind of long iron, and he has managed to find the fairway. He is ever so slightly blocked out here, though, so uh, yeah, he's got to go up and over this, but he does it very well, and he ends up just in one of the green side bunkers, which was a pretty good effort from where that was. Here I am, quite happy that I found my ball. It's in the fairway, uh, didn't go in the primary school as well. And now I have the opportunity to try and hit one close. And I'm gonna go back to the on screen for this. Have you got beeps on your editing program? Because fuck you. Okay, I was very excited, and I thought it bounced clear, but oh, 
Nah, it's just short. Is, is it? Oh, yeah, okay. It's come All right. Back. Oh, so yeah, it's come back. Oh, mind you, look how close that is to the front of the green. That is crazy. So it's actually hit that flag and bounced back off the green. Oh. We thought it was in. Wow. I thought it was in. So very close to holding that one. Uh, unfortunately, it's just gone, ended up short. Joel chops his uh, bunker shot out to here and then uh, tries to make his par putt. I tell him to pick that one up. So I'm putting for birdie with a couple to win the hole. Probably not the bravest first part and Joel was giving me a heap of abuse which unfortunately wasn't picked up because of the wind noise but uh anything you got to do in match play right and I managed to just dribble that one in and I go two up and on to the fourth hole so uh I decided to hit four iron and uh yeah you lay up and then hit in the trees it's never a great feeling uh Joel pretty much then decides where he's gonna probably try and lay up as well. So he's hitting less than driver there. Uh, he's just leaks over and neither of us have hit a particularly great uh, tee shot on this hole. So I did find mine, it was over in the uh, cabbage there with not much of a view. So just gotta go out to the left here. So just a little chip through, which actually doesn't quite make it out, which uh, left me with a little bit of a challenge. Joel also no clear view of the flag, so he does a really good job of advancing this and getting it to a position he can chip it on. Uh, I've got to go over the trees in front of me, and I I really can't explain how good a shot it was. Uh, Joel was livid. That's how good it was. Uh, that's about 10 foot right of the flag. Joel then also playing his third now, and uh, unfortunately for, for the man, uh, just chunks it up to the front of the green. So... We've both played three. Joel with a long attempt from the front of the green and he doesn't really get it there. I'm being a little unfair to him. He does really pick up. So stay tuned because this goes all the way to the wire, although it doesn't look like it right now. His bogey putt misses. I tell him to pick it up. And so shot. he's done. Mate, I've got a par putt here. So again, two putts to win the hole. Uh, didn't quite read the speed of this one as you see this one just takes off after the hole and uh i'm suddenly thinking oh wow i i really i if i can't hold this i don't win the hole fortunately even with a little walk in we're done and now we're three up through four fifth hole part three um nice little hole uh we're off mats not exactly sure why it's the first time i've hit off a mat in well since i moved here i think uh, managed to catch the front of the green there, a little bit of a toey strike. Joel hits uh, probably his best shot of the day so far and hits that just past the flag. Um, I am putting from a different postcode over here, but I, I, I again, I cannot explain how happy I was with that. The speed of these greens, very, very happy. The WA Open's being yeah, played here next week. So um, well they are ramping it up for that. Joel gives me that for par. Um, Beautiful golf course. I really wish that the audio would have been good for this because there was some good chat while we were out there um, and also just would have captured this place a bit better. Joel to win the hole. First opportunity for him to win a hole today and the adrenaline slightly gets the better of him there and just gasses that one past. Obviously with him giving me a load of abuse on the third hole, there was no chance of me giving him that one. And as you can imagine, I also gave him a little bit of crap back as well. But he holds his nerve, drains the putt, and we halve it, and we're three up, or I'm three up, through five holes. All right, so on to the sixth hole, par five, uh, uphill as well, at 490 metres. Uh, it's a beast. Uh, bunkers here, round about the 230, 240 mark, and then you've got to hit another good one to get anywhere close as well, and littered with bunkers. Been hitting the ball pretty well, but that is a solid a snap hook that you are going to see. Awful. Joel decides to play it the other way, and the power fade works out really, really nicely and puts him in position A compared to me, at least. So I am going for a little wander on the opposite fairway. This is actually our next hole, and uh, yeah, I'm in that trap. So 
close to the lip as well all I could really do was try and knock it out and uh, my experience on this hole gets even worse as I hit it over towards those bunkers Joel in the fairway absolutely nuts one up towards the front edge very nice shot and that's a very accomplished way to play this hole unlike myself who's now dribbled this out the front of the bunker playing my fourth now which I've chunked and that has hit a tree on the way down as well someone I suspect the tide is turning and uh, played my pitch shot up to the back of the green horrible spot I've left it really Joel playing his third really and truly he's just got to get it on the green which he does nicely as I am playing my sixth shot at this point so this is pure desperation at this point and also I was just quite interested in playing this putt around about this point Joel starts to congratulate me on a putt good putt and I just remind him that that's actually not stopped and it doesn't stop this golf course is hard and that is gone I at that point say you can have that hole don't need to uh, worry about putting out and we move on. So hole seven, Joel, a little bit of momentum. Um, I'm only two up now, so he's hit a good one-ish. It's just gone down the left side. I did not hit a good one. I almost topped that, and it's gone basically nowhere. So uh, long hole, this one, and I had at least a three wood. So uh, I've actually hit it pretty well. It sounded great. It's just such a shame that the audio didn't come out. And I visit that bunker for the second time in consecutive holes, which pleases me no end. Uh, Joel is slightly hindered by this tree, so he's having to just chip this one out, which he does with considerable aplomb. He then hits a little pitch, had to avoid that uh, tree on the right, and with me in trouble, there's no point in him going flag hunting there. So he puts this down at the front of the green, and uh, I cl cling on to the vain hope that if I put this close, I'm still in the hole. I go at it, I miss the edge of the hole, or the edge of the green, and uh, yeah, not happy about that. But that's where it is. I try and claim some relief from an animal scraping, which it definitely was not. Joe has none of it. Uh, not a good spot, as you can see where that flag is. So just decided to take the Texas wedge. And I, honestly, I'm so happy with that. There's no way I could have chipped closer than that. And that deserved the hat tip to the gallery. Uh, Joel, with his fourth shot, um, he's in control of the hole at this point. But this just gives me a glimmer of hope if I can make this putt. So, Pick it up, mate. Right. Rightio, finally, oh. I've actually got a chance to win the hole off my own stick. Oh, 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 he traded it. He's got it. He's Those coming two. back. I'm He's coming back. With two to play. All right, then, two holes to go. Par five, this one. And uh, sorry about the sunlight on this one, but it is just after six o'clock. Yeah, Leaking right. Lovely, mate. Come on. Great shot. Thank you. Uh, all right, well, I've got to go for a Hail Mary. I'm not losing from here, so I'm just going to take a three wooden, the natural slice come around the corner. Shot. Keep fading. Get over that it. That is just cracking towards that bunker. I don't know if it went in I it or it was over went it. Straight into it. It's straight in, yeah. okay. That has gone straight at where the pin is. Nice shot, mate. Oh, thank Christ for that. That's probably 90. Yeah, uphill, into wind. Pitch and wedge? Right. Yeah. Um, so I want to hit the ball first, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Back 
from a third. Yeah, you can go through your back of your stance a little bit. I mean, you've got to get it over that lip. So, yeah, the club will do that. but exactly, the club will do that. Great strike. Gone left side of the green. Yep, shot. Nicely done. Uh, that flag is gross where that is. Uh, this might be difficult to see because uh, we'll know. Also, I'm not intentionally going anywhere near that flag. Oh, you clown. Boiling rage inside. Oh, how many times am I going to let you back in? So fair to say I was pretty angry with that, uh, and mainly because I'd given up a good opportunity. Uh, that was why I weren't going to the flag. It was cut so close. So pitching on now, playing my fourth. Joel is on and will be putting for four in a minute. This is the opportunity to win the hole and take it to the last which he does very, very well with I tell him to pick it up. So I now have to make this to halve the hole. And, well, when you've got to make a putt, you give it a good old run, right? And uh, that's exactly what I did here. I thought for just a second it was there, but it wasn't. But we go down the last all square somehow. Legit no idea how. But what a final hole it is. This is the ninth hole, obviously a different time of day. This is a par three. It's measuring 180 today, but it's such a difficult hole. You're hitting back towards the clubhouse. You're going over this beautiful lake in front of you. You've got bunkers all around it. And the pin is actually in a very similar spot than today. So I'm gonna leave you with the on-course audio. Thank you so much for watching. I will do better on audio, but this is an amazing finish. So ensure you stay tuned right to the end. And thank you so much for watching. Oh, oh my god, mate. You did it to about 15 feet. Oh, also, um, that's a bit of pressure on you now for the best time. Tiny, <laughs> tiny, 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 tiny little bit of pressure, yeah. Oh my word. Oh, that's a bit I get to go first. I actually I don't even want to mark it because I don't think I can get it to stay in the same spot. This is going to be quick. Alright. Oh, that's a sideways. You see the grain running away to you. Keep turning. Go on, Keep do turning. it. Keep <laughs> turning. <laughs> oh, you are joking me. <laughs> you are joking me. Woo! <laughs> oh, mate, that hole must look like a cat's <laughs> bum hole now. Would you like the flag out there? Uh, yeah, I will have the flag yeah? out there. Alright, cool. Wow, okay, talk about pressure. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. <laughs> Well, can't leave it short. Oh, he's got it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. What a finish. Yeah. What a finish. Good finish um, right. You know what? Just for the comeback, I'm going to let you have the band anyway. My name's been Dave. This is Sport of Four Golf. Thank you to Joel. Thanks to Buckle and Band for sponsoring the prize for this video. And I'll see you next time.